million dollars bond for the guardian of a four-year-old Omaha girl found dead inside a home at 31st and Franklin. We learned today there was very little food, just two packages of ramen noodles, and the temperature inside, frigid. Good evening, I'm Craig DeGrelli. I'm Jennifer Griswold. Prosecutors have charged Chelsea Cook with intentional child abuse and the death of Alicia Morrow. And today there was a ruckus at the courthouse. Reporter Emily Zink has more on what happened inside and out. Additional officers had to be called to the Douglas County Jail Friday morning as tempers flared. Y'all ain't gonna let the mother in, but y'all let them in. Corrections officers would not let Lakeisha Morrow, four-year-old Alicia's mother and other family members into the hearing after authorities say they yelled at the suspect's family. We got anger in us. My baby is dead. My baby dead. She's not coming back. She's gone. In December of 2014, at the request of Morrow, 22-year-old Chelsea Cook became Alicia's caregiver. Morrow says she's been trying to get Alicia back. Police say no reports were ever filed by the mother about her little girl. On Tuesday, they found the four-year-old's body in Cook's basement. Chelsea just didn't respond appropriately, and I think because either she was in shock or something like that. Prosecutors say on Sunday, Cook found the girl cold, naked, and barely breathing, but did not seek medical help. An affidavit states Cook didn't call 911 because she had a warrant. When Cook noticed the girl had died, she wrapped her body in plastic so her body wouldn't smell. Cook's father, Kevin Cook, says his daughter told her family on Tuesday that Alicia was dead. They immediately called 911. Cook's family maintains her innocence. She's trying to cope, but once again, of course, this is a very traumatic situation. So as we like to say, as we move forward, we just we just hope for the best out of all this.